Hey guys, it's Anne. Today we are going to be looking in on the African Nightcrawlers in the Vermibag Little Mammoth, where I made a very stupid mistake that hopefully you will learn from, and I'll tell you what I did and what I should have done. If you're new here and you're looking for an active home worm farm community, then you are in the right place. So let's start looking at these guys. You can't tell it now. Every week, when I opened the bin to add chow and some water, a flock of moths came flying out at me. It seems as though they've run their course now, um, but that was due to the fact that I added an enormous amount of weeds from the outside to the bin, and I'll put a picture of that below. I had rinsed them off with the hose and thought that that was sufficient to get anything out of there that might, um, impact the bin. Oh, how wrong I was. The only one who is currently happy with the moth situation is our little cat who enjoys chasing the moths and killing them. So I will not be doing that again. If you're one of the uh, numerous people that told me that that was a big mistake, feel free to put I told you so in the comments below. Um, I think in the future, anything that comes from the outside will definitely go sit in the freezer for a week or so to kill anything before it gets added to my indoor worm bin. Of course, my outdoor worm bin gets weeds all the time, and of course, if there's moths, then that's really not a problem, is it? So let's look in here, and I have added approximately three gallons of water to this over the course of the last month. It has been rather hot here, and here in the wormery, it has been about 83 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll put the, the Celsius below. But as you can see, all of the plants that we put in here, all the stems, all the leaves, they are all gone. Isopod. And so all we're seeing here in the way of food is the long-term food, like a corn cob, avocado shell, a stick from one of my bonsais, looks like a sprout from another avocado. So this African nightcrawler bin really does have the ability to eat a massive amount of food. And so I'm really grateful of that. And I would, uh, challenge myself not to do anything silly like that again and put something ridiculous like outside food in an inside worm bin. Let's see if we've got anything inside here. Yep, peekaboo, hiding in the corn. So today what we're going to do is we're going to just give them kitchen scraps, but they're going to get quite a bit of kitchen scraps and we're gonna fill this up because it needs to be harvested the next time that I check in on it. So we're gonna make sure that there's a good stable amount of food in here for when uh, I pull out the bottom and pull out another five gallons. All right, so we're gonna be uh, having a little bit of a forbidden food here. So let's take a look. This is about a two gallon stock pot. And what we have here are lemon peels and onions and a tomatillo that the the bugs got. We've got some french fries, personal favorite. They love their melon. And we're going to spread that across the top here. This is not very, even though this looks like a lot of food, it's a very thin layer and um, they should not have any problems with that. And I think I'm gonna bury that bread underneath some of the the frozen melon so that it can stay nice and moist. Otherwise it'll turn into a rock because um, bread as it dries tends to pull moisture from the system. Now let's get them a really good amount of bedding. Okay, let's put some uh, eggshells in here, get them a little bit of grit to help them out. Um, all else fails, the plants in the garden will definitely like this. So that is about an equal amount of the prepared bedding that has been sitting there in the tote next to the bin for probably about a month. And even though this looks like a large amount of bedding and food, 
they will go through this very, very quickly as African night crawlers are very good at blowing through all of the carbon sources. So that does in fact fill the bin and I won't be able to feed this again until I harvest. So if you're interested in seeing the harvest of this bin, put that in the comments below. If you like the African night crawlers or the vermi bag bin, I have a whole playlist that I will put right over here. And if you've already seen that, YouTube thinks you're gonna like this video over here. All right guys, thanks for hanging out with me and our worms and everybody have a good day.